What's up guys, Steve, we're scotching things. Got the, uh, just came out and hooked onto our camper. We're gonna pull it out for one, one night of camping. Um, it's, there's a campsite, just, I say right, right outside of town, but it's literally just across the, it's five minutes from our house. So it makes some of these quick, one easy night camping trips easy. And then my, my younger daughter wants to have a friend out. We'll have her out for grilling hot dogs and hamburgers and then they want to roast marshmallows and then my wife will take her back home and we'll stay there tonight and then I'll drag this thing back out here tomorrow and then got to go to Lincoln and buy a bunch of shit for work Ugh, it's always a pain in the ass my father-in-law I like every time I come out here to get my camper or something for work of my shop for works out here too is where I if he's outside and he catches you, he's just a talker, man. You just got, you know, you've just added 30 minutes on to, onto your trip. Fuck. So we're going to get two videos today. Uh, I got, don't worry guys. I got the knife unboxings. Uh, I got those, my three knives in and I really enjoy them all. I know I, I like every knife. I really, these, I'm really digging these three. They are very awesome knives. Um, one I'm gonna do like a kind of a quick update on because I unboxed it Wednesday night when I got home after I showered it was like midnight I was tired and didn't really it was just kind of like here's a show and tell but I didn't really show or tell them I, I feel like I didn't do the knife justice it's a very very nicely made knife um but uh real quick knife stuff I talked about I was gonna sell some stuff and I was gonna try and sell some stuff last time I came home, but then you always say you're gonna sell and you're like, eh, it's such a hassle. I gotta take pictures and you gotta answer all these questions. But I knew I had to get uh, the Grimsmo stuff, some pictures to Merso. Um, so then I just took the picture and I have uh, this first round. I mean, you know, 10, 10 knives I listed, sold seven, six of them. One guy bought six. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, I've done business with him before, so that was uh, easy. Like, he was like, oh, I'll take those two. And he's like, what's that one? I said, what it is? Oh, what's that one? Oh, I'll take this. So I was a little worried about my PayPal transactions because he three separate PayPal transactions for like three grand. I'm like, damn. So I you know, made a lot of money yesterday. That's nice. Um, but I'll just stick that away because I've got Donnie's knife coming up. And then um, got a, another custom on order that I put the deposit down about a month ago. And I'm not sure the time frame. Um, but so those knives are all paid for now, which is nice. That's what's fun about this hobby, you know. You've already spent the money. Well, if you want to buy other stuff, you can sell stuff. And it doesn't really cost you any, like, other than the initial purchase. Does that make sense? You can keep reusing that same knife money that you've already spent if you sell stuff to get new stuff. So it's not, I mean, it is terribly expensive what, we, what we're doing. But uh, if you're, like I said, if you're, if you're willing to move stuff and you're not just hoarding stuff. And I become a hoarder, so it was nice. Like, you know sold a bunch of stuff yesterday and made some decent money and that's just money I can use to buy other knives instead of putting out other money um but yeah so but I had forgot so the guy bought six knives I was like shit okay I'm gonna and I usually ship um everything United States Postal Service because we've got a post we're small town postal service and like man that's a lot of money and a lot of knives in one box so I'm like, oh, and I forgot. We do have like an office supply store in town that has a UPS FedEx thing. So I was like, oh, all right, I'll just go in there, ship them insured and all that good stuff. And um, God damn, they're expensive compared to United States Postal Service. While I was there, the single, the one guy that bought the single knife, it's usually 10 bucks to ship priority through the post office. It was $28. FedEx which I don't know if I'm doing something wrong and guys are always talking about pirate ship and I just don't know if I want to invest any more time into having a specialty shipping thing um so yeah I've got so seven sold I've got the Grimsmo Rask left it's brand new um 
never been carried. I, I got it and, and I flipped it, and but I've got like a set of four of them, and I didn't need this one. Um, it's got no special date or special meaning or anything, so that uh, it's brand new. So if someone wants that, eight hundred bucks. Um, I've got the Microtech Stitch Ramlock in black with the black blade, brand new, three hundred bucks. I uh, can't remember what else. I might sell that one of you guys, I won't say your name, but one of you guys hit me up last week after, or two weeks ago, I guess now, after I showed that Kershaw tilt. And he's like, hey man, if you want to sell that, let me know, because the prices are insane on those. Prices are insane. So I might let that go. Um, it'll be, I'll let him know, it'll be 600 bucks. I paid 500, but I paid 70 some dollars in tax and shipping so six hundred dollars i think is fair seeing that the going rate on them now is a thousand dollars and up um so yeah um we'll see or you know it's one that like i really like that knife i really like it it's cool it's a cool collector piece but i don't know if i want to just hold on to it like i've got so many other knives like but then is it one in five years am I going to be like, damn, I shouldn't have sold that. Because I'm not buying these things for investment or money. But why don't you go on eBay and see if you can find yourself an old Kershaw tilt and see what they're going for. And like I said, these new ones are going for thousand plus dollars. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else? Yeah, the three that I'll... Like I said, I'll upload two videos today so you get one of the knife unboxing videos. The, the three that I got in this weekend, I really like them. Really glad I got them. Um, what else? What else? Oh, and one guy, man, jeez. You know, the guy that bought the single knife I had never done business with before, but we've got a bunch of mutual knife friends on Facebook. And if you were any kind of person, you'd know how to Facebook stock people in the knife community to see if they're legit or not. I know there's lots of scammers out there, but these guys with their fucking timestamps and this and that and pictures and gave them a timestamp with the knife. And then 10 minutes, I didn't want to do PayPal. He's like, well, I'll, PayPal, I'll, goods and services, I'll take the fees. I'm like, no, I will not. I only accept PayPal friends and family because that protects me. And if you do goods and services, the goods and services gets can get recorded for taxes. I'm not dealing with that. So if you want the knife, this is these are my rules. Then he wants a fucking video of the timestamp, and it's just like Jesus Christ, buddy. Come on, give me a fucking break. So and I sent some weird ass address in Delaware. We'll see. I don't know. Hopefully he's on the up and up. <coughs> what else? So there's that. Some other work stuff I forgot to tell you about. Uh, I was. My telehandler, uh, it's a Gale RS634. Oh, had it. This is the fifth year I've had it. Absolutely love it. Just an awesome telehandler, giving me zero issues. And I've always wondered, like, what's going to happen if I got to do something with this, if something breaks? Well, I was driving around on Thursday, last Thursday, two Thursday, fuck, I can't remember. And it started smelling diesel. And I'm like, what the heck is that? You know, is the farmer getting a fuel delivery? And I got over by the group bin, shut it off, and right underneath there's a, a fuel filter with a relief valve on it in case you get water in the in your fuel. You can drain the water out. So I got under there and smelled diesel still, and couldn't. It was bone dry, and I'm laying on the ground, and out of the corner of my eye I see this drip. So I crawl under there more, and I'm like, oh, there's just diesel everywhere. So, if you remember that jerk, their jerk uh, crane operator that I talk about, he was walking by, he's like, you got an issue? I'm like, ah, I got a diesel leak. I said, who? I said, we do all our own oil changes and stuff, but this is above my skill set. Do you guys have a company who services all your equipment? Because they've got a lot of fucking equipment. And he's like, yeah, but I can't tell you who it is. I'm like, what? Wow. I can't tell you. I'm like, whatever. So I went and called the owner, Neil, who's an awesome guy, and gave me the number right away for the company that you use to service all their equipment. And they make house calls. They have mobile mechanics, which is awesome. You know, they were based out of Kearney. They were an hour away, but they'll travel anywhere. Anyway, 
uh, talking to the guy on the phone. He's like, oh, we've got the same machine here. I bet you I know exactly. We just literally fixed the fuel line on ours for doing the same thing. And he goes, my service tech wants to take off early Friday, so I'll send them out to you. Man, he was there by 8 o'clock, an hour and a half later. Fuel line was fixed. He zip-tied it down, so it didn't do the same thing. Just over time, it rubbed against the frame, and I couldn't see anywhere. You take the engine cover off, and you're like, uh, what the hell is all this shit? Um, so, just weird. Like, why wouldn't you tell me the company you use? And then you come out. And I'm sure this guy's charging me by the hour when he's there and you want to talk to him. Not on my fucking dime. God, these guys, I just want to choke him. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. So, um, yeah, kind of cool. It's kind of liberating selling a bunch of knives, you know. Like I said, you just it just is cluttery. Like, to have them is cool. Whoa! To have them is cool, but it's like, fuck, why? why? Oh, so the, so is the... That Duravish was an awesome knife, but if I'm going to carry something like that, I'm just going to grab an SMF, you know. Um, just other stuff. Sold the other rostrum I had because I got the titanium rostrum, which I really, I just prefer the titanium over the carbon fiber. Uh, the Pocket Monster, which you guys never saw, so I'll never upload that video. Uh, just a bunch of other stuff, so he bought the Norseman. So like I said, I got a wrap, brand new rasp for sale still brand new stitch maybe that Kershaw tilt um, I don't know like I'm torn on that one because I really like the knife but I really haven't had a chance to carry it does that make sense because I'm, I'm not going to carry a knife like that at work because it's thin and it'll uh, break it and shit like that um, and it's not meant for that kind of work um, but uh, yeah I, I mean I've just had hands-on time with it just flipping it so and I, I like I said I like it but I'm, I'm kind of torn you know give it to someone else who wants it or for a good price sell it for a lot more money or keep it um, so I'll probably I'll probably move it on to him if he wants it still <sighs> just because like I said it's, it's kind of nice just to kind of push stuff out and then that's money for, you know, like I said, now my Donnie Vless knife, the cash is there. That other custom I've got on order is there. And there's some other money. I might uh, look into a Bober Blades um, Fifth Element or something. I really like that one Justin got. So um, uh, if I remember, I'll contact him when I get home. But uh, I think that's about it, guys. Yeah, if you want something, hit me up maybe it's for sale everything's got a price so thanks for watching talk to you later uh i'm gonna go hook up the camper and then like i said i'll get you uh, you know over the next three days you'll get a the, you'll get to see the three knives i got this week so like i said pretty cool pretty you know i was a little iffy on I, one i've 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 got a version of it and i've had other versions of it maybe you can hear it can you tell that noise um, but I'm glad, I'm glad I got that one. And then this one was, can you tell by the sound? Um, you'll see in the unboxing. I, I kind of tried to, like I said, it was like almost midnight and I was trying to talk. But it's one I had seen in a pocket dump and just thought, that's fucking cool. And it is fucking cool. And the machining on it is insane. So that's what I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you.